Hello and welcome. You're on Friday Double Bill, India's first full-length film review show on television. This is where we look at the top releases in the theatres every Friday. We dissect those films, we discuss those films, and we tell you at least whether we thought that film was a deco or peco at the theatres. Bang Bang, directed by Siddharth Anand and produced by Fox Star Studio, is supposed to be a remake of Fox's own Hollywood production, Night and Day. This one features Hrithik Roshan and Katrina Kaif. Hrithik plays a top-class robber who steals the Kohinoor diamond from London. Hrithik's character in the meanwhile bumps into Katrina Kaif in Shimla. She plays a boring bank receptionist. However, she's getting chased by both villains and the Indian Secret Service. Together, they travel all over, shooting weapons and chilling in Thailand or Czech Republic. Since you already know this, they finally fall in love. You know, at 140 crores spent on this film, it has every imaginable car chase, things blowing up, uh, exotic locations. You mentioned uh, the Czech Republic with Prague. Of course, you have Greece, you know, Santorini. You've got every conceivable uh, gadget. But more than everything else, you've got Hrithik Roshan, who just excels uh, in this suave, uh, you know, secret agent. He's 007 meets, you know, Tom Cruise uh, in, in, in that sort of full action hero mold. I mean, that man is a ridiculously good dancer. His physique is, you know, beyond uh, unbelievable. Uh, his acting chops, he's easy on the eye for, for uh, you know, uh, everybody. It's all good. And uh, you have, for the first time uh, in, 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 a, in a long time, as far as I'm concerned, uh, a Hindi film heroine who has also uh, a huge role and things to do. Obviously, uh, Cameron Diaz had a meaty part in, in this film. Uh, certainly with Katrina Kaif, she gets lots to do. But can she do any justice to it? I was just appalled at how Barbie doll-like and how amateur her acting was, given that this was a role of a lifetime for her to be able to sink her teeth into. I mean, there was, you know, comedy, tragedy, romance, uh, action. She had an amazing opportunity and it's just gone and bang, bang. You know, Father, I mean, I'm quite amazed that you managed to see comedy, tragedy, romance <laughs> in this film. All I was thinking about throughout actually was that, hey, there is an extradition treaty going on <laughs> between India and the UK. <laughs> now, the fact that this uh, th this thing goes through, that means our big Don, that's Danny, uh, you know, the Mr. You know, Dr. Dang kind of guy, yeah. uh, he's very upset because if that goes through, then, you know, his his dhanda is going to have a little effect with Rugo Kapoor. I'm thinking uh, that it's thanda. easier. It's, yeah, yes. it's Rugo Thanda. And so it's much easier to be a criminal in London <laughs> than it is to be in India because the Indian government will get you back. And then to top that, he you know he he puts out an award for five million dollars. Five million dollars is thirty crore rupees. The, this movie's budget is one forty crore <laughs> to go get Kohinoor from London, right? That's right. Uh, and how is that going to help you know ensure that the Indo-UK treaty does not get passed? Is what was the you know is really what I was getting. Quite intrigued by, and I was loving it far more because of that reason. Exactly. It is what we call in the business, suspension of disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> disbelieve everything, leave your brains at home. You know, after watching the sublime, sublime Heather, this is just the antithesis of that. Made at five times the budget of Heather, which we thought was a preposterous amount of money, at 34 crores right. to spend on this film on, you know, making a very powerful statement. This makes all kinds of statements, but it, <laughs> none of them are powerful. I mean, obviously, the idea is just to go, you know, bang, bang in more ways than one. Right. And, and uh, it succeeds admirably in that department. I mean, it is a complete uh, crowd pleaser. Uh, the fact that it is sustained also for about two and a half hours is is a testimony to the fact that they want to give you a bang bang for your buck uh, do they or not maybe we should find out uh, immediately thereafter well getting on to the OMG moments or the oh my god moments from this film besides the plot itself that we've already discussed I think uh, the two uh, you know focal points of this picture was always going to be Hrithik Roshan and Katrina Kaif so we'll just get on with the you know Hrithik Roshan moments some of which we've already seen in the promos there is him you know in the water hoverboard there's him in jet ski there's him in Formula One car there's him in a motorbike I mean what has he which motor transport besides the lift has he not taken in this movie but you know I'll give it to you I mean this guy is a really really good looking 
looking man. Uh, I can imagine even male audiences sort of looking at him, hoping to go to the gym and, and get something uh, as cool as, as that. Uh, but then uh, for male audiences, there is Katrina Kaif. Now, Katrina Kaif, uh, who, as you rightly pointed out, has been given this very meaty role, as it were. I think in every scene that we see her, besides the fact that she travels without a passport, let alone a visa, yes. uh, you know, to Prague and, uh, and, and, and Bangkok and various other places, is the fact that no matter what you know, scene is, no matter what she's supposed to say in it, uh, she'll purse her lips or open them slightly yes. and she'll roll her eyes. And, you know, I genuinely thought that she was, you know, seducing a mango as she does <laughs> in so many of her ads. <laughs> Speaking of seducing mangoes, you know, and, and product placement, this film is a festival of product placement, starting with Johnson tiles. I mean, if there were large hoardings of Johnson's tiles, not, uh, it were not enough, <laughs> Rithik takes Johnson tiles and breaks them on the villain's heads. Thereafter, you have the Volvo 6, which is, you know, being, being endorsed there because they, they, they ride in it. Of course, they steal it from someone yeah. as they are busy stealing with great aplomb. They have Mountain a pizza, pizza, yeah. pizza. They actually go to a pizza store. The opening shot has the pizza with, the, with your Dr. Dang, <laughs> Danny Denzongpa, <laughs> eating pizza and a full dialogue ensues on that. They go into upper crust and, I mean, thin crust and yeah. pan pizza and all of that. Then you have Mountain Dew. And you know, dar, dar ke aage right, jeet, all right. of that. I mean, there is nothing that has not been. And I'm wondering, 140 crores must have been earned right. uh, just in product placement rather than spent. So, truly, oh my God. Well, you were never supposed to look for a story here anyway. We've given you two good reasons to watch this film. Those two good reasons you already knew from the promos. There's Rithik Roshan, there's Katrina Kaif as well. For her fans, there's a huge of the number of them that I saw in my theatre. If they work for you, I guess you could just pay for a ticket. If you're like me, you could be banging your head against the seat right in front of you because that's precisely how I left the theatre. It's a picker from my side. So if you have kids, or are somebody who enjoys the things that go bang bang in the middle of night or day, then I suggest you go out this very weekend and watch it in the theatres. But if you're looking for particularly poignant and cinematic movies, then you always have the option of Heather. Well, that brings us to the end of Friday Double Bill. It's a big weekend at the movies. Tell us what you thought of the films. Write to us, tweet us. See you next week. Absolutely, and hopefully with more good cinema.